first of all, congrats on After Ever Happy. How does it feel to be back as Harden for a fourth time? Thank you so much. Um, it feels good. I mean, it's funny because we obviously shot three and four back to back. So like all the the questions and interviews that we did for three and four, now I'm like racking my brain because it was two years ago and I have to like split them, mm -hmm. split them up in my head. But the whole process was bittersweet and I, I feel like it's been nice to have a kind of like gradual ending to the whole kind of saga and a gradual goodbye. So it's not been too, too overwhelmingly sad. What can you tease without spoilers that will go down in this movie? I feel like we start off the, the, the franchise in movie one and Tessa's going off to college and she meets this guy for the first time before she's even, you know, found her feet at college and what she's going to study and do. And now through two, three and at number four, we're exploring people trying to find their feet in, in the real world and, in, in, you know, in the big, big grown up real world where you have to figure out how you're going to pay your bills and, and um, some of those friendships maybe aren't there anymore or you don't have time for them. and just dealing with more adult grown up issues while trying to maintain a relationship is a completely different ball game to you know having your first love in college so i'm so glad that we've been able to really kind of show every different aspect of the relationship across the multiple years that they've been together what has been your favorite thing about playing harden it seems like he's been really trying to grow as a character since the first film yeah i think i think People who have things to work on, people who have like demons and traumas and stuff that they need to work on um, are always trying. Even if they're not trying hard enough, they're always trying. And I think showing him try, but maybe not try hard enough, try for the right reasons, try for the wrong reasons, but, but always making that effort has been a challenge, but like an enjoyable one. And I think towards the end in, in, this, in this movie number four, um, he really does start to really try as hard as he can. Um, and it's enjoyable to watch, and I think it was definitely really enjoyable to play. Without spoilers going into this, were you personally rooting for Tessa and Harden to end up together at the end of the movie? I know you can't tell us exactly if they will end up together, but were you personally rooting for them? Definitely. I feel like you turn on a film like After and 10 minutes into number one, you're like, oh, well, they're obviously going to end up together. And it's nice to keep people on their toes with to be continued and open endings. And I think it's really, it's really nice. I love like talking to friends after finishing something and you know, when there's enough room for a fan theory and you go, oh, so after that bit, do you think like, did he, did, did, did the character die? Like, did, did this happen? Did that happen? And I think having those kind of conflicting opinions and I guess not arguments, but debates about, about what happened, what should have happened, that shows how much you care. And I think that's really, really fun to experience in, in film, TV and cinema. How was it reuniting with Josephine for this film? I think we're so lucky that we both had our first lead role be playing these characters because it doesn't feel like any of us have like a leg up on the other for, for previous you know, work or achievements. And it's just been really nice to kind of like have each other's back and learn and, and grow together on the same level. I think the saddest thing about the whole franchise is that I'm kind of on my own in, in England and everyone else is all in LA together, all, the, all our other cast mates. Um, so yeah, that's the, only, that's the only sad bit about the time off screen together. But no, I've, I've loved every minute filming with not just Joe, but all of the cast. Um, and we're so lucky that we got to do it so many times. Looking back from the first after movie until now, um, did you have any idea how much these movies would blow up and how much fans of the franchise really were going to show up for these films? Definitely. I think what's interesting is that um, when I first accepted the role, I was told about how many readers there were. So I kind of knew it would be big, but then sometimes you get readers who aren't interested in the film adaptation. And, and so you never really know and it's hard to gauge. And I remember getting to Atlanta to film the first one and Anna Todd, the writer, and Jen Gibb got one of the producers were explaining to me how my life was gonna drastically change overnight and suddenly I wouldn't be able to walk the streets of where I've grown up anymore. And luckily that was a bit of an overstatement, but to be fair to them, a lot of what they said was very true and it was like a, um, kind of like a, a gradual thing. So yeah, I mean, the whole process has been, has been, yeah, overwhelming, a learning curve. So I guess with her warning, um, 
I was aware that it would to an extent, but maybe not, maybe I didn't believe her as much to the extent of, of which it did. But no, we're so, we're so grateful for, for all of the support that the fans have given us. And yeah, I think we, we knew it would be big, but maybe not this big, not big enough for us to come and do, do four movies and travel the world doing press. So yeah, we're, we're very lucky and grateful for all of the fans and their support. I also have to ask, fans are pretty excited about the loneliest boy in the world. Can you tease anything about that? Do you know what? I actually, I don't know as much about the release of that and I'd love to be able to give some more info on, on when fans might be able to expect it. But to tease about the film, I think it's just, it's so different. It's so fun. It was one of those films where the job comes in and I just instantly thought I'm going to have so much fun filming this and I hope that shows, you know, in the final product. It's silly in the best way. It's, it's like dark humour. It's kind of ridiculous, but in, in it's such a refreshing kind of escapism kind of way. And I know we shot during the middle of, of lockdown and we were so aware of how some people are just gonna want something so far removed from reality to just let loose and have a good time. Um, and we had a lot of fun with prosthetics on that. Like my look is like extreme. Um, so yeah, again, without knowing how much I can spoil or reveal, I can't wait for people to see that one. It's gonna be so different from, from after, some real like comedic funny moments in there. And yeah, excited for the fans to see that set to start in a new thriller, Come As You Are, with Sophie Turner. How excited are you to work with her on that? And were you a big Game of Thrones fan? I am a massive Game of Thrones fan, um, and I can't wait to work with her. I haven't met her yet or anything. We literally just um, kind of, I guess, secured the role, had a lovely chat with the director, who's amazing, and I can't wait to work with. And I, I feel like, again, that's going to be something that I am going to learn so much on, and I can't wait to work with her. And yeah, I wish I had more to say, but I just have kind of more to learn about that one. So I can't wait to get started and, you know, get into it.